Hello and welcome to Hey, I Loved That Movie, the podcast where we rewatch the films we loved when we were younger to see if they still hold up. I'm Dan. I'm Michael. I'm Helena. And for this episode, we have a very special guest. It's Alistair Trombley Birchall. Hello, I'm Alistair Trombley Birchall. Thank you for, for coming up. Thank you, yeah, thank you <laughs> for joining well, thank us. You all, thank you all. I appreciate it so much. It's, it's, it's a joy to be here. We've already had great discussions about politics uh, pre-pod. I, I, I don't want to show a, a little bit of peek behind the curtain, but we've, uh, we've really warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> we've come in hot for this episode. And what, what movie is it that you have brought to us today? I brought you the film Three Ninjas. Highly political. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Very political movie. I suppose. I suppose there's probably some Japanese uh, politics in there that we, we we're barely touching on. Well, they barely touch yeah. on there being Japanese people in existence anyway. Yeah. Absolutely. Like yeah. Some somehow your entirely white family has a Japanese grandpa. It's yeah, like... yeah. Yeah. They're all they're all a quarter Japanese. Yeah. 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 Look, Definitely. you know, I guess I guess we can't entirely judge. The mom did seem very white, but. She was half Japanese, and so yeah. you know that can just happen. And I, you yeah. know, and, and I don't want to be a person to say that she's not Japanese enough. She's absolutely Japanese enough to me. Yeah. It must yeah. have been really hard for Hollywood to find someone who's you know half Asian, <laughs> like they just don't <laughs> traditionally don't Absol- act apparently. No, absolutely. Look, and that's fine. So we they 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 found whoever they needed to. Yeah, yeah. they did that. Especially in 1992. <laughs> <laughs> Was this a film you watched a lot as a kid then? Or what, what was your sort of connection to this? Yeah, as far as I can remember, um, this was, I, I would have seen this quite a few times. Um, this was from the day of, you know, hiring VHS. And you really did just go to the, to the you know, to the VHS, you know, to the, to the what, what were they called? Rental stores, movie rental stores. Anyway. Blockbuster um, equivalent. I, Blockbuster, yeah. I mean, but I was living in Montreal at the time. So it was like v- Videotron and uh, <laughs> other other kind of like French sounding places. Um, but you would find them and, you know, and, and it really was like you're just basing it entirely off of the uh, off of the cover. But I remember renting it probably multiple times and that it was like, I don't know, it felt like at the time like this was a very good, this was a good fun kids movie. You know, yeah. I don't know. Action packed. I, I never felt disappointed by it. But now that I have kids, I don't. I don't ever see them really be disappointed by movies. So that kids, that could yeah, be a we're sign. learning are easy to please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and a lot of the time, what you thought was good as a kid is actually trash. But uh, sure, this yeah, wasn't yeah. too bad watching it. To yeah. be honest, like yeah, yeah. For, I'd never heard of, of it. Cheesy kids action movies. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I was surprised. I was surprised how much it held up and how much like. I remembered of it once I did see it because it's probably been maybe 30 years since I've seen it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So a little while <laughs> yeah. then. Like, <laughs> yeah, because I've just hit 39 in the last few months. And so I can't imagine I saw it after, you know, after 10. And, yeah. and it's like it felt like fresh in my mind. I was like, I remember all of these scenes. 10 yeah. feels yeah. like the perfect age for this kind of film as well i could imagine a 10 year old yeah. being like this is this fantastic is amazing cool no Rather, I, I, as an adult mildly horrifying yeah <laughs> i i had the same re- reaction like i grew up watching this film i grew up watching all of the three ninjas films oh nice i watched these and jackie chan that was my film to grow up. that was a lot of my films I mean, growing up jackie chan i wish i had seen more jackie chan when i was a kid i think i saw rumble mm. in the bronx maybe when i was like 12 or something like good, that good jackie chan i need to introduce everyone else to good jackie chan so far we've only watched his terrible era of like medallion <laughs> and chan. tuxedo oh yeah yeah yeah. no yeah. i've i only just recently saw gosh it was one called like is it condor or no no or like it has like the name of some <laughs> Some bird yeah. in it. God, this is not a great story when you don't know the name of the thing. <laughs> but, yeah. but he so. does fall down a very tall cliff in like one of those like Zorb balls. Yes, <laughs> okay. I remember that film now. I can't remember what it is, but yeah, yeah, no, I remember that one. That scene yeah. specifically just triggered a memory. <laughs> like, yeah, because like, he like runs yeah. away from a uh, from like a tribe of people that he's offended. Is it yeah. Armor of God Two Operation Condor? 
Yes, yeah. I believe so. And because I remember it was a sequel, even yeah. though people are like, it's a sequel, but it's actually the first one. Huh? Um, a prequel? Uh, oh, yeah. like Temple of Doom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a weird one. But anyway, there's like a lot of very good <laughs> comedy fighting and kind of jokes in it, that one. Yeah. yeah, Jack is hired to help the UN find Nazi gold hidden in the Sahara. Huh? <laughs> that was that was film. <laughs> so He's accompanied, but from Spain, by mm-hmm. two in brackets later three cute women. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a weird just... one. I think he does seem like yeah he is traveling through the desert and mm. yeah going to huge compounds and things like that. Anyway, yeah. that's not the movie we're here to discuss. <laughs> of course, we're here for the children's version of Jackie Chan's film. Three ninjas. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I'd never, I've never heard of like... them. I think I was just a, well, I was about to say a little bit too young. I'm only a year younger than Mikey, so I think this just fell into the realm of my mum thought it was too violent. It is quite. Yeah. And it, you know what? It kind of Fair. is. Some bits are. That's I. I read that. That's why there's so many crazy sound effects. Is because Disney got the distribution rights. So we're like, this is too violent. Let's put some wacky noises over the, it, and mm. then it'll be fun. To be they fair, they cut out. Bits, this film. quite a bit of yeah. the most violent yeah. scenes as well. Right. I don't know what what version did everyone watch. I don't know. Maybe there's a bit where the kids like waterboard the three dudes that yeah, yeah. <laughs> attack yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I mean I rewatched a version that was on YouTube that yes, was actually yeah. just available yeah, yeah, for same. free on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. How you know it's but a I... good long lasting film is when it's completely uploaded to YouTube and no one cares. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's always yeah. the well, sound. Actually, yeah, especially if it's a Disney movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I rented a version on on YouTube, and then I realized that it was the sequel, and then I went, "Oh, oh no, no, I just paid." <laughs> and then, and then I realized it was for free. So I guess in the end, it doesn't really matter. But as long as the good people at the Three Ninjas franchise get a little bit of that coin, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm happy. If not, yeah, we'll just Disney quickly really do the sequel struggling. after this. It's fine. <laughs> I think that sounds perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I didn't realize what there was I four. loved. Oh, is there a fourth one? I don't think I've the ever fourth seen the one, fourth one. Yeah, that's the only one my my husband's seen because I was I was like, "Have you seen Three Ninjas?" He's like, "Is yeah, is that the one with Hulk Hogan?" And I was like, <laughs> "I don't think so." But that the fourth does one sound is familiar. Fourth now, one has actually. Hulk Hogan in it. Wow, um, I guess that's pre his kind of like home sex video days. Yeah. Hopefully, I guess you can't make movies. I guess you can't make kids movies after that. Mm. But I, you know, what I was really amazed at watching back is how much I loved those three bad guys. Are the think, they're like Bill and Ted types? Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, like the, oh, the, the, yeah, the stoner yeah. surfers. Yeah, yeah, the kind of like stoner surfer kind of guys. I think it's like it's because. Because it just felt like because you, you you're introduced to them in that like convenience store, and he's just on the phone. And he just kind of seems like a dumb guy or whatever. And then you see him like completely like he's being really polite with his with his friends. You know, yo, dude, do you mind like going and getting me like those, <laughs> whatever yeah. it was? <laughs> and then and then he kind of completely changes his tone and kind of like uh, sticks up the. Uh, and then he sticks up the uh, the convenience store guy, and he changes. I don't know. And it was just like it was nice to see a character uh, who was bad, who had multiple levels. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like like this guy was like, I've been given this role, and it's it's not going to be a great movie, but I am going to give this guy as much as I can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, so they the, they were acting. The it was it capital A acting from yeah. all three of them. Um, yeah. for, a, for a kids movie, because and I, I, considering most of the other like, like lo, like um, what's it called, supporting actors, I guess, mm. um, are there. ninjas and faceless, and yeah. or just all they do is fight and they have very little dialogue. So these guys are very, very they're, present. In the film. They're entertaining. Very entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, whereas I, the 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 proper bat, sorry. No, go ahead. You, you go for it. No, I was going to say, whereas the proper bad guy, the main bad guy, he was almost too evil mm. for a kid's movie. Yeah. He was like businessman evil. Like he mm. was it... he was Bond villain kind of evil. Yeah. Yeah. And, but like in like a kooky world. E- yeah. Evil to that point and also 
I imagine he's also very racist because when the FBI are doing that sting operation at the beginning, that is the most American looking man in Arab getup I've ever seen. <laughs> like I've not seen Arab people oh. with a moustache like that. Of course, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. That's he, that's um, true. I forgot yeah. about that original sting at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, it kind of that villain kind of feels like him and the grandpa we're in it feels like this is a spin-off to a more serious film they are in together yeah like spy kids like, and the shit oh yeah like it feels like there was a really yeah. serious like spy movie between them two and yeah this i'd, is I'd love to see a kind of cop buddy cop drama with um get trying to track down snyder with the grandpa and the and the fbi dad <laughs> yeah yeah, like I think that's fun. You know, film. their their relationship actually kind of reminds me a little bit of Shredder and Splinter. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. like because he's he's very much like the student who went evil, and then mm. he the grandpa is the sort of the wise old rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I've just realized this is essentially <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but yes. what if the turtles were kids? Yes, yeah. kid. And they lost one. And, yeah. and the bad yeah, guys they... were the personality of the turtles. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah the... <laughs> like the stoner oh, dudes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but it's actually, it's, yeah, but there's a lot of there's a lot of overlap there, actually. Yeah. It because it works, I guess. Yeah, it's always something... like Ninja Turtles was popular and they went, let's just do that again. Let's do that, but call it regular child. Oh, three, yeah, but I mean kids. it is it is <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> it's like the um the getting the, the the kids, I can imagine being absolutely gripped as like a ten year old, nine year old, being yeah, like, "Oh my god, 100%. I could do that! I could be a ninja! All I need is a Japanese granddad." I don't yeah. know what your guys' <laughs> granddads were like, but mine like highlight was one time he took me to his allotment. Yeah, not Japanese. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I helped finding a pond once. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. Mine did take me fishing at a at a at a trout farm once. Oh, nice! Because he yeah. was like yeah. he was like I want him to catch something, so he took me to a place where there was definitely <laughs> trout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fish in a barrel. Yeah, yeah, um, that's the only time I've did... ever caught a fish as well. Yeah, I I do have very fond memories of going into the backyard or my neighbor's backyard and just playing three ninjas. Mm. And we just have yeah. like big sticks and we'd kind of use them to hit things. And yeah, we'd pretend we were ninjas. <laughs> Give each other names like Colt. And, yeah, uh, and Tum Tum. Tum so, Tum. I did that. Fact, that was quite jarring. It was like, okay, I was like, okay, so we're going to get some some Japanese culture in here. They're going to get yeah. like cool Japanese names. We're going to learn some Japanese words, even if it is just like you know, flying horse and jumping sure. jumping frog or something like that. But no, no it's cool. almost as bad as those um, Power Rangers names almost, from the, nin- but this from the Ninja pa- choreography from the Ninja pa- Power Ranger name. Uh, episode yeah. we did, yeah, of film we did, yeah, where it was oh, like croaking you... toad or something that one of them got, <laughs> and these do sound like Native American names, mm. you know, like even Colt does have that kind of more of a feel of a like a, yeah, it's... it was disappointing. It was disappointing for me in like a, this is the least Japanese like represent. This is the yeah the the least Asian representation of like being a ninja. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I guess we don't know how many generations uh, American the grandfather was. You know, he could have been like third or fourth generation or something like that. From, from so the all, accent. All his... <laughs> sure. It's I mean, you know, his say. dad, his dad yeah. would lock him up and just train him and that kind of stuff. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah, it was a very this, strong this accent. Of... <laughs> also felt like someone had recently watched the Karate Kid and was like, yeah, let's do that again, yeah, but these, yeah. with three kids. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they're yeah. pitching <laughs> it on the board, and they've got, like, one karate kid, and then they just uh, and then they put a dollar sign, and then just put two dollar signs next to it, and we're like, that'll do. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> karate <laughs> kid S. Four. Line through it to make yeah. a dollar sign. Four Sold. being too many. <laughs> yeah. Four too many. Three is. Three. Can we talk about how the granddad... Like, the, the relationship between, like, the granddad and the actual dad, because... The setup is the actual dad is an neglectful FBI. because he's an FBI agent. Like yeah, he's, he's married to his really job, like his kids. neglectful Absolutely. of his sons, but still like happy to send them away for like what the almost the entire summer. Yeah, but yeah. I I fully get sure. what his reaction to the like the granddad changes the kids' names. He's like, I'm going to give <laughs> you new names, and like I fully get the dad being like, please don't do that. <laughs> like please don't give my kids new names. 
Sure. But he, Maybe. I think he's also acknowledging that he's like, well, but I am away a lot. And so <laughs> I yeah. do appreciate <laughs> that you take care of them. But please you know, don't like, close ha- it. <laughs> having like, them off me. of my hands while I'm trying to bring down this, uh, this kingpin. Yeah. Uh, I, I am very appreciative. It's uh, one of those things where it's like, well, okay, he's, he's got a very important job. Like that, that is important. He is doing, he is doing good. By yeah. trying to bring, mm. we assume because it's actually it's not made clear exact apart from well, selling arms to. Mm. Um, yeah. Anyway, he's so he's, he's a bad he's guy. A bad we we learn enough. There's some terrorism yeah, going buying... on, which is more than enough for 1990s. Yeah, was he buying the weapons or was he selling? He's selling them, them to a, selling them to the Middle East. I to think the was Middle the implication. East, okay. Yeah, yeah, because he got the money, and all the money was fake as well. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. That's and right. he, oh yeah, yeah, that was the bit that. Uh, concerned me at the start how we know that he is also ninja uh, where he cracks open the box which has the missile in with so his hand funny. That was yeah. so and I was just funny. like dude no <laughs> 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 that's not how you open a box that has like a potentially like nuclear <laughs> missile in it yeah. When, when I was watching it as well, the bit where he like he, he escapes on the roof by like grabbing onto a ladder on a helicopter and all I could think was, I don't think I'd have the upper body strength oh, to, but to do ninja. that. I would fall and die. <laughs> like, that, that was amazing. <laughs> it was also a huge stunt for what is a quite a like a what feels like a low budget kids yeah. movie. Like, all yeah. the money went into that stunt. <laughs> like, the rest it went into of it hiring the helicopter. Yeah, <laughs> the rest yeah of just the insurance the for <laughs> for that stunt man. <laughs> That what well, you don't know is that's a scene from the more serious film that they filmed that they made first. Yeah, <laughs> they just took the entire scene. It it sort of gave the vibes of like the actors that are also doing stunts are probably just the stunt men and they've been yeah. told to act as well. Sure, yeah, yeah of course. I mean, like the kids. I looked them up. One of them is mm. a martial artist. None of them continued acting. Like they yeah. were clearly just yeah. like kids that knew how to do some form of martial arts. But they were, like, you can they were definitely better at martial arts than they were at acting. Oh, it's dreadful. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely dreadful. <laughs> Tom Tom was, really was my absolute favourite for that because of he's course. just his reactions were a solid ten seconds behind the rest of the oh. cast at any given time. <laughs> it was great. It was like there I mean, was like a director behind the camera like waving at him trying to get his attention. <laughs> I think I always, I didn't, I do still even remember enjoying as a kid how much, you know, instead of giving him a personality, they really just put food in his mouth at all times. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, guy can, from this kid can eat good on camera. Yeah, it was just stopping yeah. from acting. That was it. it just, no, please never do dialogue. It's the most realistic thing you can do. Yeah. I mean, when when you were talking about the having the stuntman acting, I don't know, it made me think that, I re- you made me realize that you could make a film cheaper if you filmed two action films at the same time and you just used all the same settings like if you did kind of you know think they were on a ship or something like that for a while and if you used you know if you were filming like a you know a van damme film or whatever like that and you had already all these sets you're like that you were like well let's film a ninja kid film at the same time and then i don't know i'm just trying to find ways of making movies for cheaper uh 30 years ago but um Anyway, yeah, I mean, I could I definitely see that. Idea. Like, they should reinvent reinvent the three ninjas. They're making every other old Disney film. Exactly. Make it well. They'd make t- uh, three ninjas into a TV series now, That's and true. put it on on you know on Disney Plus or something like that. But deadly. At, at least these days, maybe one of the kids would be Asian. They, yeah, you would, they would, you would hope. Yeah, yeah. It maybe be like a cool. mixed family or something like that. Oh, they will as well. They will make it as well. And it would be deadly serious and quite depressing to watch. I wonder whether it's a big enough IP to worth re- to, for it to be worth reviving. I guess you know a couple of us, have, you know, half of us have seen it, so I guess yeah. that's something. But I don't yeah. know if it's like if it if it um, is I large enough in people's them. hearts for it to be worth uh, bringing back. I, I thought back Disney was like... doing a pretty good job of proving that they will bring back anything. Sure, I, that's yeah. that's also true. Apparently it was pretty big at the time as well. Okay. Like this one was, it, it was rented out a lot. Of, like, I don't think it was. That's how it made I, its money. I don't think it did well <laughs> in cinemas, but yeah, yeah, it was was rented out a lot because like you say, it was just a, 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 a good film. one for, for kids. And you can, you can watch this film endlessly as a kid. Mm. Like this film you could just put on again and again and again. Yeah. Maybe. I imagine a lot of the comedic fight scenes as well. You're like, oh, this is going to be the bit where he... Head, they pick yeah. up the small I'd imagine child like you'd be acting it out. Like... You'd, you'd, you'd yeah. watch the film and then 100%. go and act out the scenes with each other. It's probably why my yeah. mum didn't let me watch this. 
because yeah. yeah yeah we weren't allowed anything with kicking or punching in because she didn't you know she found it annoying when kids would go and then kick and punch each other mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 and but in that scene where i guess the the three bad guys come and attack the kids in their house has a kind of home alone style feel mm, that was fun yeah. that could also yeah. yeah what you what if your kid starts putting x lax in your coffee or something as a sure inspired, movie inspired yeah. <laughs> why, yeah why did they why did they drink that drink that would have tasted yeah. awful, right? You, oh, yeah. you'd be well, they get they get pepper bombed in the face, don't they? So like they're yeah. trying to yeah. drink. You I guess like, you, I'll you get it in your nose and down your throat, of... so you'd you'd want to drink anything. But also, but you you wouldn't take a drink off the people that pepper bombed you. You'd be no. like, oh, thank you, you're kind. <laughs> I know, well, he go he does I go in saying, they, mm, they I've got delicious coke. First, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He kind of inceptioned them. He made them think it was their idea. Yeah, he did the ninja thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, I'm gonna drink, and I think that. Did they? I think they did bring it, right? It was part of their food or something yeah. like that. That was big it? coke. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because they bring it, go... they pretend to be pizza delivery guys, didn't they? That's right. And throw pizza in the face of the babysitter. That pizza is another very Ninja Turtle style thing. That, yeah, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. That they like, yeah. Of course, American rad kid movie. Like this yeah. is a, such a like a pro nineties kids movie. That... Yeah, that oh, back in the good old days, you you know, you the, your kids could just cy- they'd all cycle to school or to get in like in a big bunch, and yeah. bullying yeah, was like a bullying was like a schoolyard problem that the teachers absolutely did not intervene with. Yep, yeah. it was also very American bullying, where it was like, "Hey, stupid head, yeah, yeah. give me a <laughs> bike, pushing people that. into give the floor, me your <laughs> yeah, I'll play you for it." The, uh, yeah. the basketball scene went on for so long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that was, was an interesting choice because it was. They, it's not like they wait. We knew that they trained as, in martial arts, but not basketball. Why would they be good a at lot basketball? Of, a lot of transferable skills. <laughs> this this is to prove that the granddad is right in teaching them martial arts because it teaches yeah. them about life <laughs> and how to play basketball. Uh, That's right, and I mean it feels like some of the morals that they learned through bas- uh, through martial arts. You know, controlling their uh, impulses to punch somebody and stuff like that really actually got in the way of them dealing with these bullies that they could have probably solved oh, yeah. earlier if they, by if just punching really them in the face. Ju- yeah, yeah, and absolutely, and that's that's kind of where I was a bit confused at the Disney message of this film by sort of the end. I don't want to chop through too much of the plot, but the bully suck B story or whatever. Um, he does just at the end just let him have it. And at, yeah. like this, the one of the kids is it Colt or is it the younger, the middle one? I I think it's the, is it the oldest one. He just absolutely decks this um, yeah, bully, the shit out of him, who has <laughs> has it coming. To be fair, yeah. and it is yeah. just they are, I guess, a grade or year above or two, or I don't know. They're just bigger. They just hit puberty earlier, and they're just yeah. solid. They're like even if this kid wanted to hurt me, like they probably couldn't. And they use that to their advantage, but little do they know these are little ninjas. Little ninja kids sure, yeah. that can and, uh, beat up grown men. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um What did yeah, and they they just absolutely and it's like, okay, so actually is violence the answer? Violence is always the answer. This film teaches <laughs> it turns out violence it turns out, yeah. the answer. Yeah. yeah. You can try other stuff, but it won't work. Yeah, just right. just beat right. the crap out of your bullies. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's kind of hard to like, I guess, beat, beat them, them with wisdom at that at that point. You know, these, yeah. these kids were probably bullied by their own parents or something like that, and so yeah, it's hard I mean, to get. It's, it's, it's like hard his, to make... his little sister can't afford a bike, so he wants to get one for. Uh... That was so strange. That was and then so he's like... riding it at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they okay, the... so they're not bullying him for going around in in the nineties in on a girl's bike. No. Mm. I'm like that would you, you wouldn't be seen dead. In a purple and pink bike. The bully really cares about his little yeah. sister. And I love that they added that. I love that mm. they were like, <laughs> he's not just bullying for no reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got, he's got a name. He's got his family. Probably that, got to support really. the family. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's such a, also like a, uh, a perfectly suburban town, isn't it? Like, yeah. That where, where it's like, you don't, you don't even see town. Like, I mean, maybe. Like know, three really cars per hundred miles. Yeah. But everyone's it's... got a double garage. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the houses look like they're made of chipboard. And I mean, they're, they're the only people with parents. Like, the no people one, with no what? One parents. 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 No one else has parents oh, yeah, yeah, in this yeah. film. I do, I do love how Colt and the girl he likes have, like, this elaborate, uh, like, uh, tin can phone to each other. 
I thought that was yeah. so cute. That's so strange. Like, are they? I, I, from when they first meet her, she's like really far down the road as well, and I yeah, assumed yeah. that that's where she lived. And I'm like, that is far, unless she's like <laughs> secretly a neighbor, <laughs> like, right? Because because those yeah. things have to be tight for them yeah. to work. She is literally the girl next like, door. Somewhere in that town, there's yeah. this really yeah. long piece of tight string. But I love that he's got it on an angle poise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, um, that it's that, that really was that funny. was the bit that I really enjoyed. Was that you, you know they thought it's not just a tin can on a windowsill. No, they bought uh, an like, arm for it. Yeah, or, or rather, oh, Nick, yeah. their dad's angle poise lamp for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even just yeah, the, the the scene where the bad guys talk into it and are like, "Hey, it's, so it's me. <laughs> so <laughs> come <laughs> over straight away. It's I always need you." And she's and she's like, "I'll drop everything for yeah. for Coulter, whoever no, it is." It, it's strange that none of those three guys, when that was happening, went. This is a bit weird. This is the this is the line. <laughs> they were like almost excited that it was a girl as well. Yeah, and it's like yeah. guys, like remember at the age of the yeah, you, you like, kidnappers, you violent criminals. You guys yeah. are like, mid thirties, mid I don't know forty forty years old. How old are you guys? Yeah, yeah. you're you're so like weird. I'm gonna get a ten year old child. <laughs> Girl, like, user yeah. is leverage. Let's, yeah, let's let's kidnap <laughs> another child. <laughs> That but felt, then they don't, yeah, and then they, wrong. yeah. I, I, that yeah. felt wrong. The one thing that I really want to talk about is, that, like, so the enemies, and the ninja enemies, because mm. Evil Guy has an army of badly trained ninjas. Yeah, because yeah. he's, he's but, it's secondhand training, because we find out Grandad trained them, trained him, yeah. and then he's training mm-hmm. these. Yeah. But um, can you imagine <laughs> being, like, trained second. guard, trained soldier for this guy that has taught you how to be a ninja... To get your shit kicked in by a kid called Tom Tom. Could you imagine <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah. You... All theory, no practice. Yeah, man. But also, like, these people are so okay to just fight a child. They yeah. have no problem so with it, they? They're, Yeah, like, there, there was a lot a of... Okay, and now we're going to hurt them. <laughs> yeah. Like, even the... Even the um, you can't stop me. Even the stoners as well, they were like... Yeah, we'll fight gonna, a child. Well, yeah. Like, as soon as they're I'll pissed off with kid. them... They're like, right, let's get them. Yeah, I'll punch a kid. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it could be one of those, some of those lessons that were learned from, um, you know, like MMA. You know, if you heard about, you know, mixed martial arts. And I think yeah. what they discovered is if they fight different styles against different styles, some styles are much more effective. And so maybe these guys were one following one of the least effective styles, like Aikido or something like that, which is also Japanese. But, mm. you know, and then isn't these that the guys dan- were kind of... No, that's Capoeira is the dancey one, isn't it? Capoeira is the dancey one. I think yeah. it, it does have its own problems. <laughs> that one, yeah. you know. I think you know. The, so, so it could have been just one of those ones where they they teach you like, oh, you just got to use the other person's strength against them rather than yeah. you know actually use some of your own strength. <laughs> oh yeah, they've only the ever face. been taught how to how to fight like that Stronger really people. big, the really big yeah. uh, actually Japanese guy. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're just used to yeah a slow a slow sturdy bloke and then suddenly they've got these little whippersnappers <laughs> and, biting and at as their the kids, heels as the kids say they're like oh ninjas don't use guns and they've got guns so they're not ninjas that's true <laughs> of course and... yeah it's a kind of batman <laughs> rules exactly <laughs> I, but can you can you imagine being in that training facility being one of those ninjas and your boss is like i know i've trained you and you're we've you fought fbi agents you can do all of this stuff um, you're gonna have to go and fight some children. <laughs> like, yeah. you're gonna have to go and we need to stop these children. Yeah. And being like, yeah, I'll do that. So, sort of returning yeah. briefly to the that to the plot. Sure. Um, we don't do that. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. I, I just think because it's it happens sort of incrementally, doesn't it? They basically we the the they find a po- a photo of their granddad with a woman, which is their grandma, and they can see yeah. someone's hand on it, so they know it's like someone's been cropped out. And they're they're still at uh, they're still at Grandad's house, and they get attacked. Yeah. Mm. And they're like, "Why? Why are we being attacked?" But they also they're like, "Should we tell Dad?" It's like, yeah, they yes! spend way too long <laughs> not telling their dad what's happening. Yes, you should tell your dad if you get attacked by grown men. <laughs> yeah, with guns. Yeah, that's a weird that's a weird lesson to pass on to kids to be like. You know, if something big happens to you, you know, just don't decide straight away to tell your parents. <laughs> yeah, keep it um, secret. Let your granddad decide. <laughs> yeah. No good message. Yeah, I mean, 
that I mean that would have been shocking because they would have been mostly spending their time just practicing and kind of theoretical practicing. They were just kind of kicking boards and kicking planks of wood. And then suddenly a bunch of grown men did show up to start beating up their grandfather. And then they had to actually fight men. Yeah. Like yeah. adult men. And then their granddad <laughs> yeah. teaches them the, the ninja way of taking down a grown man, which is you kick them either side of the chest and then in the nuts. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. These pressure point kind of things. Yeah. Testicles right in the, in the armpits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I thought it was like sort right of armpit, sternum? sternum, heart kind of area. That, that whole like training thing with the dummy was kind of intense because he yeah. was like, you kick here a killing blow. You kick here it's a killing blow. You kick here it's not a killing blow. Yeah. Kill them. It was, it was very was much like, like yeah. puncture their heart with their rib. <laughs> yeah. And you're that good. Feels like like collapse chain. their lung. Solid. Fine. Yeah, mm. kill them. Bruise if them. Attacked, no good. You've got to kill them. Yeah. This film's very good, actually. Once you once you've realised, uh, you can tell where the scenes are hyper violent and really gory because they do have the very strange sound effects overlaid on yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So this is like this is how you kill a man with pinball sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> or or a whistle slide. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a do <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think the the accuracy at which you had to hit that that dummy reminded yeah. me of of kind of like Kill Bill a little bit, where you know they talk about the very specific points you got to hit in order yeah. to kind of make a man's heart explode. Mm. Yeah, I think that was that move that that um, Five her sensei kind of showed her right before she uh, you know in, that she used the move she used to to take down Bill, and uh, you know that's I, I I I imagine that's where Tarantino got all his inspiration from. Yeah, three three ninjas. <laughs> Was, was... I I liked, I, I think that the the part that kind of seemed that made a lot of sense when I was a kid and didn't make quite as much sense when I was an adult was the at the end when he, it was the grandfather fighting the uh, the much younger full grown man the, the bad yep. guy uh, at the end and the uh, Tum Tum hands his grandfather a handful of um, jelly beans yeah and then. And then the grandfather, you know, uses when, you know, he's beaten, but he uses that opportunity when the guy's close to shove the jelly beans in his mouth and the guy immediately starts choking on the jelly yeah. beans. Like, <laughs> yeah. Rather I, I than feel being like, like, oh, actually, this sugar is giving me a lot of energy. <laughs> and I could... <laughs> like, I feel like that was written in at a later point because there's there's a bit where the kids are going to bed before they're kidnapped and Tom Tom just chokes on a jelly bean. And I'm like, was that? an accident and they left it in and now they're like right let's mm, add this into yeah, the script yeah. <laughs> like, he's gonna Actually, shove jelly be beans in someone's throat and then hit them there as well so he chokes to death <laughs> you're right because that scene the kids laugh in a way that actually sounds like it's it's yeah. on, not on purpose yeah it sounded yeah. genuine it was like i choked on a jelly bean yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the kids are like, ah, <laughs> like that, and you go, whoa, yeah. I I remember thinking that seemed like a, they had just left that in, yeah, mm. as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah, he's um, yeah. I'd imagine that there's probably quite a lot of outtakes of this kid choking on food during <laughs> takes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, some of that stuff I love. That's something that you don't get here in Australia so much as that long licorice, like he mm. was eating, and that oh, licorice. Oh yeah, that just nine, so... that was such a ninety sort of. Mm. sweet as well where it's like the when the sweets are bigger than you yeah, yeah. that's really great and and it is good eating licorice mm. like that so i yeah i do long that, that does make me you know like they some of these things some of these like streaming services and whatnot they could if they could add a feature of getting to eat some of the things that you see the people eating in the in the uh, <laughs> in the imagine, movies I, I would i would order. absolutely order stuff like that they were I big jelly beans as well they were real choking yeah. hazard jelly beans. Yeah. yeah. I, I would have thought they'd set up earlier that he was like allergic to peanuts or something. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, allergic to jelly sense. beans. <laughs> yeah. Like, Did he ever really have an anaphylactic shock or anything like that for anything? No. That Like, it's a weird no. thing to set up and then not, not sort of. Uh, no. Maybe they were off. worried that kids would then start shoving peanuts Throwing down the throats peanuts of their yeah. school bully that has pe a peanut allergy. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would have made more sense for setup is if he gave him the bottle of laxatives. <laughs> he just <Yeah. laughs> poured a load of laxatives. <laughs> just starts, He's like, actually choking. allergic to laxatives. <laughs> <laughs> it makes him throw up instead of shake himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> yeah, like, as a kid... 
watching that you don't understand what a laxative is that's the problem and so then you no. kind of learn well they, they do the explain it don't they they're like what was that stuff that your mum gave that mum mm. gave you when you were yeah, when you when couldn't you... poo for ages yeah 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 and which you is do it's have great brotherly it love it's like remember that time when you were really constipated <laughs> yeah. and they, they put a lot in that drink as well yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, sure did. Like it's really, really bad for you to take a lot of laxatives. <laughs> like I swear, it's like something that they're like, if you do that, you need to go to a hospital. Those guys yeah. later died of dysentery. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure it is one of those things where it's like, actually, this is really serious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he could. He could actually dehydrate from this. And... They killed. We never yeah. see those guys again. They killed them. No. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <Those guys. laughs> That's the funny thing is that the Americans are really good at taking things that should be like, like you know, like Pepto Bismol that you see in movies. That's like that yeah. pink liquid. Mm. They they're really good at taking medicine and turning it into something that looks really delicious to consume. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> like laxatives shouldn't be that easy to. They shouldn't have. look like, like you... a chocolate either, because you yeah. can get like laxatives that look. I was like going to say chocolate. the one we had at it's home true. that was X Lax chocolate pieces, yeah. and I I remember <laughs> like always a... being so tempted. <laughs> like I'm being really like, no, 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 no. But I'd be like, I really want that chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I did have like an understanding of what a laxative yeah. well, that's was, good. which is what stopped yeah, me. Yeah. It's just as well. But I can imagine mm. being, if I was a little bit younger, this was obviously once I could reach the cupboard above the sink. Sure. So, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I guess there's a reason. I got to think about that now. I have a seven-year-old now and a two-year-old. I gotta think: well, Is there yeah. any me- delicious-looking medicine in my house? Maybe it's time to have the talk with the seven-year-old about yeah. what laxatives are. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Cool. All right. Just, just think... in case some like some surfers break into your house. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Here's yeah, when, all when is he the starting his ninja you can training? Use to take them down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, are they, obviously, the ninja training is starts in in about you know six months time, and so then I will start you know with trips and various kicks and things like that and then we'll move up the body and then have fists yeah. and then head butts and stuff like that uh, and then you do the death the killing blow <laughs> yeah. yeah of course yeah, yeah. you yeah, move towards the killing, killing one <laughs> start with a good you know the best offense is a good defense first mm-hmm. and then after that the best offense is actually a good offense yeah, yeah. yeah. the best offense is a killing <laughs> blow yeah. violence is the answer <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's oh man this you're gonna film... get a letter from school yeah <laughs> 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 the, this was there a good film in because now now i know like i didn't know that it was taken by disney and like re-edited and added sound effects mm. was there a good film in this like was there like a legitimately really good kind of edgy action movie they cut out less than two minutes so i don't yeah but and but the, like, the sound effects the do detract from the like sound effects. yeah That's it's what one of those I mean. ones where it's like kids can't it's like oh it's too violent for kids and it's like no kids fucking love violence I love it. have you not but met like, them they're beating the it... crap out of each other yeah. all the time it's yeah, all they constantly. do yeah. That's like, that and farting. Like, it's... That's why they like action movies, so they can copy it. Mm, it's, exactly. why, it's, why, it's why the like wrestling shows have do not do this at home. Because mm. kids were doing it. And yeah. that's why it was so... like The thing that I did find entertaining in this is that... I mean, there were obviously some stunts where stuntmen had done it, but a lot of the scenes where the kids are like fighting people is just very clearly like the kids actually doing it with like slow yeah. choreography. Yeah. And it just yeah. made it funny. <laughs> and it was quite fun watching them use their surroundings as well. So yeah. when they were like beating them up by like dropping plant pots on their it was, feet yeah. it was and very things like that, yeah. it was. It felt very because they were obviously clearly quite skilled kids. Yeah. Um, yeah. It. Yeah. The, the action. I thought the action scenes were really good. In the point to the point where I was actually so bored when there was any dialogue. Yeah. That was kind of the prop. The where this film falls falls down is when they are talking. It's... It's a very Jackie Chan kind of mm. thing to to you know use your environment like that and mm. and make it for you know make it for comedy, um, you know and obviously that that's a kind of borrows from physical comedy before but like yeah, it's amazing to kind of watch Jackie Chan and, and like those those like those Hong Kong based movies that he would make and kind of go, holy shit he would just do hundreds of takes to kind of make sure that he could get these yeah. things right back in yeah. those days yeah. and like and... if someone is stood in the wrong position like they're getting hit by something yeah mm. in, in yeah absolutely and, like his the action his early action seasons is genuinely amazing 
yeah turn like turning things like you know even like some of the stuff that's in rush hour and things like that where he turns like just scenes with like him in a ladder jumping through the ladder using the ladder punching the ladder he gets hurt a lot that kind of stuff like that yeah. it's like there's just there's so much fun in it yeah yeah and <laughs> Yeah, these kids weren't exactly the... Jackie Chan level, but they were. No, no. It was no, it was solid. It was like the the actions yeah. were really like I'd I'd quite happily watch. I'd be more interested in watching more of like a smash cut of the action scenes than the actual yeah. film again. But I didn't I... I didn't hate watching this film. I really no, I, I thought no. I was going to be like I thought there was going to be a lot more obvious cultural appropriation and yikesiness sure. to it yeah. um yeah, yeah, yeah. and obviously there is in that it's quite upsetting that they've made this film that's so about japanese as like japanese culture and japanese film and yeah. whitewashed it to the yeah. max the, yeah, Where, the like, big no- problem is there's nothing of that in it like there's no real japanese culture in it at all no. no, it's even called Three Ninjas, and I'm pretty sure that most of the time they use karate, not like ninjutsu or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know what the difference well, three, is. Well, three from MMA based on kids is a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three fighting three, kids, <laughs> three taekwondoers. <laughs> the director, the de- director was somebody who of of some like not note, but like he had. I, th- I think he wasn't like a piece of garbage. Like he would like. I think he had maybe directed comedy or something before. I can't find mm. the, well, I imagine the director. Like, and... You don't put in all that culture stuff to sell it to American kids. Yeah. Like, American kids yeah. don't want it to be... don't want all of that stuff in it, so you just wouldn't put it in. Well, when they're... You know, the other things they're watching that are sort of ninja-based are Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This yeah. is on the same sort of level. And, like, yeah. Power Rangers is deliberately made to cut out all of the Japanese stuff. Yeah. Like, that's the whole point of Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> they literally cut yeah. around the Japanese stuff. Yeah, that was an amazing yeah. thing when they when they made it like that, too. That it okay, really, yeah, he's... Like, I mean, he's, you're I'm, saying he's a bad... Uh, not a, you're saying he's not a good director. No, no, no. I, I, I think uh, that he actually cool did a decent job. And national no, no, no. I, I thought that he was a good director. Yeah. Sorry, that was, that's mm, what I was yeah. trying to say. Like, that, <laughs> that, like, really, like... For the story, mm. somebody has turned this into something pretty decent for what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, if I was saying, if it sounded like I was saying he's not a good director, I actually mean that he did a very decent job. Yeah, um, mm. he with, also didn't direct the sequels. I can't remember yeah, right. if the sequels are better or not. I mean, I yeah, doubt I it. I watched <laughs> yeah. them a lot. I just, I can't remember if they're the same or better. I wonder if they're even yeah. the same kids. Like, <laughs> I think they are. I think no, one I think of the kids are. is different, at least. Yeah, I think maybe Colt is different. Yeah, yeah. There were but... a, a couple of bits that I, um, like in a row that that like made me audibly laugh as well. Which you know, normally you, you when you're watching a film, so it's funny. You just kind of do that exhale, yeah. and not like. Yeah. But the bit where um. He's like messing, like fighting the guys near the end with the nunchucks, and then the guy just starts doing the showing off of the nunchucks, but he just knocks out the people behind him as well. Yeah, <laughs> that was really good. But then after that was when there's the guy with the sword, and they managed to like knock him down with some steam or something. But mm. as they're leaving, Tom Tom just kind of squats down and looks oh. at him for a minute, and then just punches him. That absolutely <laughs> the sound killed effect me. was so good. <laughs> Bedoing. <laughs> It was just oh. like it was like he was looking at him to be like, "Oh, I'm sorry," but then he just punches him right. In the face. It really yeah. caught me off. It really caught me off guard, as it did that yeah. guard. But it, oh god, it was so funny. And I, <laughs> it's one of those ones where I'm like, is, "Was that supposed to be in it as well? Like, yeah. was was the... that pregnant pause supposed to be there, or did Tum Tum forget what he was supposed to he's be got, doing no, again?" He's got great <laughs> They're like, "Punch him," kid. and you're like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> that kid's got great comic timing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By accident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Naturally. I think there's a good yeah. film. I think there's a really good film in here. And I think you could re edit it. It's got good really bones. Good I think it's yeah. R rated three ninjas. The the plot is pretty well, it's more the I don't think the plot's necessarily like bad in the like, you know, in a summary, mm. but the way it's delivered mm. and the, the relationship yeah. between the granddad and the bad guy, you only yeah. really get from the kid's perspective. Yeah. yeah. Whereas you get basic, like the granddad's like... perspective and the dad's perspective a little bit more clearly. So the, the bad guy in comparison feels quite unfleshed out. Yeah, yeah it's just... very kids' yeah. movie plot. It's yeah. this is the bad guy. Here are the good guys, and now they're gonna fight each other. There we go. Yeah, but like, it, it's yeah. it's kind of intense because the bad guy's like, 
I'm going to send these guys after after to get the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know that that will hurt the granddad. Yeah. yeah. Like that's kind of intense. That's like. <laughs> but also, it's he's really this amazing, intense, yeah. mad, like, fan, like crazy connected supervillain, like yeah. mafia or kingpin, as you said. Um, didn't realize that the granddad's kids were the fe- the FBI kids, the FBI <laughs> yeah. guys' kids too. It's like, how would you not yeah. know with all the moles and everything else that goes on with FBI stuff that like who these kids are? And then yeah. you wouldn't I mean, probably wouldn't send like your what was it, his nephew basically, yeah, to go and do the kidnapping job. You might send someone. That, I know they said that it had to be someone who's not connected to us, and that was sort of the sure, justification yeah. who, for getting these non-Asian people <laughs> essentially to do this <laughs> role. Who was that? Who was that side character? The side like bad guy character like who was assistant. like it was his nephew. Like he was a kind of interesting, fun, yeah, little guy. Yeah, like, the kind of. Yeah. Like PA guy. He, he was just constantly worried about himself being in the situation. I think if, if it was an animated movie, he'd have been an animal kind of sidekick yeah. character. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. yeah he'd be I, a I warthog think... or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there's there is. I genuinely think there's a good film in here, and you could you could flesh it out in the right places and actually get something good. Yeah. If you put more mm. focus on the relationship between the bad guy, uh, the FBI agent, and the granddad. Yeah. But I guess that's what's more interesting to us as adults. Yeah. Whereas as kids, they're like, that's grown up shit. I do not care. When are the kids going to beat up some more bad guys? That's true. But make the bad guy more sinister. And it is like, yeah, kidnap the kid because it'll affect these people. Yeah. Yeah. And also, the mum is just not in it. Yeah, not at all. No. No. (laughs) (laughs) Like, you know, from a 90s. uh, misogyny kind of way, yeah, mum is there to just be a drag and can't, like, feed them. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. that's kind of it. it it is very light on the female characters there isn't it there's like the the love interest character mm. who gets yeah. kidnapped and then needs to be saved and then there's the mom who's just like the link between the the father and the like, grandfather yeah. <laughs> a little yeah. bit like, yeah <laughs> if, like if she was the fbi agent that would make so much more sense mm. as well because she would be a trained like assumedly he would have taught her to be a ninja or something. Yeah. Like, of give course. her something to do. Exactly. We want a spin-off mum ninja movie. <laughs> but, like, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, like... if, if the mum had revealed... Like, yeah, that would have been a really good twist if, like, Grandad was like... She's like, I promised I'd never do this. Like, she wanted to leave violence behind yeah. her or whatever. She wanted to leave like, violence. No, I so need you. I can't. And Grandad's like, I can't... I've told your husband I I can I can get yeah. them back, but I can't do it alone. And she's like, yeah, yeah. fine, and gets out her own mask. That's that what they put out is she goes full John Wick. On yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was just far too. Far. That was the two minutes of violence they cut out. Yeah. Was her with a handgun. <laughs> I mean, that's fun. Yeah, yeah it, it actually kind of makes me makes me <laughs> sad that that they're not really like both kids movies like this and comedies they're not really making that much of these days no and and it would be fun to see more of this kind of stuff because it actually is it isn't just kind of pure just dumb fun yeah yeah do you you know what would have been a really sick scene and like really cool and kind of emotional Mm. scene is if the mum was involved and did go to save the kids if it was the mum versus the big guy Instead of that the kids, that would be good. That yeah. would have been a really sick scene if she was like, "Leave my kids alone." Yeah. yeah. Going forward, is it like Molly yeah. Weasley in Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When she's like, that would have been sick. Yeah. <laughs> Die, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's also got a little bit of feeling of like you know when you finally see Yoda fight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like somebody that you're like, oh well, nobody would expect you to be have you know incredible skills. We just know that yeah. you, you know, you're just a kind of a constant in these movies. But then for her to kind of like be like, take you know, get into the stance and then yeah, just start doing like, roundhouse kicks. And... Yeah. It'd be like if Nunu from the Teletubbies suddenly started kicking <laughs> yeah. the shit out of them. <laughs> exactly Man, I imagine want... that those hmm. those Teletubbies are trained. You know? yeah. yeah, they're like ten foot tall. Of course, they're trained. <laughs> yeah. so they're, they're trained and they're around. always approaching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, nobody looks that vulnerable without having incredible, co- you know, yeah, confidence yeah. in your in your destructive skills. They're I think actually, the bright like, the colors are because they're incredibly poisonous to eat. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, they're it's fairly obvious where you have to kick them to hit their kill switch. 
That's, yeah. <laughs> the off button by the telly. Yeah. <laughs> They've got a standby oh! on a remote. <laughs> yeah. That's why they're so dangerous. Their weakness is their weak spot is so vulnerable. That's yeah. why they've got to be, be trained. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you Natural get that selection. controller, <laughs> put one fast forward. <laughs> well, would you would you say that this held up to your childhood sort of memories of it? Like, I I would say that this is held up a surprising amount. I enjoyed it in more ways than I thought I would uh, yeah. as an adult. Yeah, this held up. <laughs> this is this is one of the few. Um, guest movies that I've watched it and been like, yeah, that was all right. Yeah. It's <laughs> there have been some absolutely dire ones. So. Yeah. It, yeah, I was I was going in with low, low expectations. Yeah. yeah um, I and I, I was pleasantly <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was pleasantly <laughs> surprised. It was um yeah, it was cheerful and fun, but with enough like yeah, one of those things where I had like the stakes were high, but because it's a kids film you're like, well they're not gonna kill the kids. Not them kill the Can you imagine if they killed the kids? Well, yeah, that's that's our that's our cut of the film. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. it would have been fun if they had killed one. Yeah, just, give it a... just like Tom Tom. It's, I mean, yeah. yeah, the the fights on a boat at the end. It can be like our Madline episode. It just cuts yeah, to Tom Tom face, down, face down in a river, <laughs> like floating away from the boat. Yeah. Like, Tom Tom, like, what are you know, eating? Cop... And he's like, he's just got yeah. a packet of rat poison that he found on the yeah. boat. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, it's or the even end. the you know Colt's love interest or something like that. You know, like yeah, if she oh, yeah, died, no, like, oh, just shot in the head. By oh yeah, they're stone. like, no, we don't. Yeah. We didn't meet. You didn't need to kidnap the girl as well. We don't need her. Just eat her yeah. off the boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what they cut out. That's why she magically doesn't get taken yeah, away with the stoners and appears back with the mum to be like, here's a note that I found. Yeah. He told yeah. me to tell you they're here. On yeah. this boat. <laughs> yeah, this could have had like a, a Gremlins kind of not Gremlin. Um, yeah, was that the one that had the sort of the two the story that got very watered down? Yeah, yeah. I think could yeah. have had that, and they were yeah. like, oh, like in no. um, oh, toy, um, small soldiers, small soldiers. The, yeah, sorry, where they had like the two guy, the two yeah. stories, and then it had to yeah, they had to tone yeah. it down <laughs> massively. And they're like, we've already <gasps> filmed her corpse. Like that corpse was expensive, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> we've already built it. the model to look like her. Yeah. She's face down. We didn't even need it. <laughs> Have you guys already watched the movie Toys for for this? Toys? From, Toys? Uh, the, that Robin Williams is in? No, no we haven't actually. That no. was such an odd... I, I, don't, I can't even have a full... I don't have full memories of it, but I remember it being an odd, odd move, movie. Did you same year. Did you flashbacks to it? Sorry, I just, I, I just went and Googled it. Is it, yeah, is it same year? Yeah, yeah 1992, 90, yeah. 92. It's Ooh. just another He's kind got of weird... almost he's so close to doing a Kubrick smile in like hmm. stare in that. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it's... Yeah, it's kind of almost like one hour photo kind of weird for a Robin mm. Williams movie, like if you ever saw that mm. one. It's another weird. We're not I don't want to watch any more Robin Williams films. No. I'm too sc- well, We watched good. Flubber and I've not forgiven him. <laughs> yeah, Flubber I mean, was... don't there is definitely some good Robin Williams out there. Don't let Flubber. Yeah. Uh, but but no. Toys is not going to be that movie. No, yeah, I don't think it is. <laughs> Neither is One Hour Photo, but you know. No. Um, sure, but maybe maybe Robin. he's got done some good work too. Yeah, he's, he does yeah, yeah there's a reason why people like him. He's he's beloved and he is funny. But he's uh, yeah, Flubber yeah. is just kind of a remake of you know what, what I don't was, even. I'm not however even sure bad you think movie. it is. It's worse. I'd, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so disappointing. Um, so well, I'm glad that you guys idea. that you guys enjoyed it. Like that out of this, because, you know, this feels like, you know, it, th- there should be some good movies from the 90s and 80s yeah. and things like that. So, um, and, and this one find. doesn't even set the bar that high. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's nice to find something that was entertaining and watchable. So, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, we found that it often it's like, People will absolutely adore a film because they it was one of the very few ones they had on VHS like as a kid. Yeah. That sure. they owned rather than rented or something like that. Um and it's yeah. like okay, so they watched that film every day for two years. And that's yeah. why they it's love like it. It's like a song that you, a song that you hear on the radio sort of thirteen times and at first you hate it, but then you're like, actually it's pretty catchy. It's just you know, it's just the repetition of it eventually mm. ingrains yeah. it into your brain and you're like, <laughs> is this familiarity or do I actually like it? 
kids, also kids just like films. So if you sit a kid down and get them to watch the same film thirty times, they're going to be like, "This is my favorite film ever." Yeah, yeah, this is the best film. Yeah, because when I, I I saw the the Mario movie with my kid recently, and then I was like, "Oh, that didn't feel like it had." What the you know like what this IP required like it felt like they should have had like all you know all the writers and you know like mm. that, that that they'd kind of had for like the making like the Lego movie or any of those Pixar movies or anything like that and I was yeah. like didn't feel like there was a lot of direction there was just like cutscenes that were recognizable stuff from the you know video games and then but my kid was just like man that was so good <laughs> you know and I was like oh okay cool yep it's uh unfortunately why i think there is such a dearth of these terrible kids films is that they lap that shit up yeah yeah and if they liked kit three ninjas you're gonna bet that they're gonna ask their parents to take them to three ninjas two three ninjas three and three ninjas Absolutely. four yeah yeah also back then like hollywood had so much money they were just making movies like yeah. any film that hit the desk they were like make it done yeah what's the worst that could happen tax right yeah. yeah they were just shitting out must... movies like I think they probably still have lots of money, but they've just they've just figured out that there's more money in being very specific with what they do. Go for big IP, go for you well, know stuff that has a built in audience. Yeah, um, I think it's they're just way, being more careful. I think it's way more dangerous now because films cost a lot more to make. Yeah. So the right. loss if it if it bombs, it can kill uh, like an entire. Also, like if Avengers bombs. They're never going to make another... They can't make another Avengers film. Yeah, like, it right. needs to do well. Yeah, but they're also like... <laughs> it's that crazy thing where they put in a billion dollars, you know, or however much. They put $250 million into a movie, but then they have to put in, you know, $50 million into advertising it and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But Oh, yeah. If you ever look at a film's budget, half of that is advertising. That's crazy. Yeah, so like, that's yeah. kind of how it breaks down. And also, back then, and this is like... Really interesting thing. I can't remember who I was listening to that said it. Back then, if a film didn't do well in the cinema, it's fine because it would make most of its money back on DVD sales. Did you see this on YouTube and it was Matt Damon talking about Maybe. it? Maybe. Or it was like someone <laughs> so talking I've seen about that. that. Very same reel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's, like, that's why films now aren't that rewatchable because they don't mm. make money back when they go on streaming services. They just go on. Because normally it's whatever company's making them streaming service. They don't make money. So this film, this was obviously film. this is 90s money, but the yeah. budget was 2.5 million and then it made 29 million in box office. Yeah. It's very good. So, yeah. 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 No wonder they made three more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think the key seems to be having that small budget because it's much easier to make a profit. And it's yeah. a small budget <laughs> considering budget like there's small. three kids in it as well yeah. like kids are quite mm. expensive and difficult to work with because they have some right I, I assume they had some rights in the 90s as well yeah i think i think yeah. there were probably at least some rights but i, I, I can't i know say there's that more the now that they would have now. Yeah, way more now i think there, there still had to be like teaching and they could still only work a certain amount of hours a day yeah i think they had to have i know now it's like i think three hours of school a day i think back then it was like one think and no one keeping ta- track of it probably yeah no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine uh, they're learning ninja moves on the job <laughs> yeah. yeah that's their school <laughs> yeah or you can have a teacher yell out stuff during the sort of the scenes that you yeah. don't uh you're not recording audio that's how you get time done <laughs> to pay attention that's why it was, <laughs> a lot of it was adr was because it was just like, yeah. <laughs> the teacher just yelling questions. Stuff out that, right? yeah the sound effects have been put over the teacher going you know oh the capital of brazil is I forgot <laughs> Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah no. Th- thanks for bringing this film. Yeah, um, yeah it was been... great. It was great to actually revisit it. Um, it's uh, it's actually been a very nice experience. So thank you very much for the opportunity. That's all right. Yeah. If you had to put a number on it, like yeah, if you were rating out of, it out of ten, something out of ten, he sure. asked how many. <laughs> yeah. He well, asked. you know, when I heard when I heard myself uh, talk about the Mario movie, I realized I'm probably not applying the same standards to this movie. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, know? Um, you know, so I will. I'm gonna give it like a six because it was like it's definitely in the positive zone. Okay. It's not like. Yeah. A, you know, but like I'm it's not great, maybe. You know, like like I I still did get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I don't necessarily think it's a great movie, yeah. but it was it was 
it was kind of it was fun, dumb fun, plus the addition of, you know, uh, it's attached to my to my past. I was going to say, do you think it's getting extra points for nostalgia because six seems quite low for a film you, you know, really enjoyed when you were a kid? Um, yeah, I mean, oh, I mean, I, I, I mean, I sometimes kid, people have a... blinkers on and they're like. I don't care how bad it is. It's still a 10. Yeah. Because yeah, I love it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just don't think that it's necessarily a very good movie, but yeah. I have fun with it. So yeah. it's not it, getting it extra points for the fun. nostalgia, really. It's just like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of giving it a six because it feels like that's roughly where it stands, even within the context of it being a kid's movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I, I was going to give this a, um, yeah, five ridiculous uh sound effects because it was yeah watchable enjoyable made me laugh a few times like i i didn't get to the end of this and think oh for fuck's sake recording this is not gonna be too fun what if he loves it and mm. i think it's shit like... <laughs> it is it is bad when we kind of have to put the put the guest on trial yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. why why <laughs> so this because is much the... yeah much more enjoyable in that respect yeah. yeah, the other option, like between like putting the the guests on trial, is us pretending to like it, and we don't do that. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> we're very hostile fine. when it comes to films. <laughs> I yeah, I was I was like I said, pleasantly surprised. It does it definitely loses points for like the just lack of female characters yeah. and the whole yeah. It's it's one of those ones where like you that's one thing about films these days is that at least they do try and have women in it. A bit, yeah. you know, once mm-hmm. in a while. Um, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And I, uh, yeah, the sound of, I actually do, I do kind of want to, probably not anytime soon, but if I do ever feel like I want to watch this film again, I do want to try and track down the original um, non-US version mm, or non-Disney yeah. version that's got, not got the sound effects in and has the, yeah, I, I guess, the slightly more. I think you can more... find it somewhere. Oh, well, I'm like, sure I just couldn't yeah. be bothered. No, no. <laughs> and when I found it on YouTube, I was like, cool, done. Because at one yeah. point we thought we were yeah, going to have to like subscribe to a free trial of MGM or something, and I was like, I really don't want to yeah, do that because yeah, yeah. I always yeah. forget and end up paying like eight quid for a month yeah, of sure. a channel that I'm not going to. I need to cancel Paramount Plus. Actually, thank <laughs> you for yeah, reminding yeah, me, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, Paramount Plus, please sponsor us. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> any of these, we're open but, to any, please. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd give this five. X lax and coke drinks out of 10 <laughs> like yeah surprisingly palatable yeah. that's not <laughs> surprising you chug, you chug the <laughs> cup as much as they yeah. do <laughs> I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10 like I definitely nostalgia points 100% because this game this film game? gave me flashbacks yeah <laughs> it really gave me flashbacks but like the good flashbacks right? yeah yeah no like i yeah. as soon as this film started i remembered the entire film mm. <laughs> uh, it's it's really good yeah it's it's so it's nice after because we've just watched some real trash trash mm. honestly like, it was nice it was nice to watch a film that was good yeah yeah I was yeah. it, it genuinely like made me feel better about any of my memories of of movies past. It's nice, like, because, isn't it? Yeah, oh, you're like, oh, maybe, maybe I wasn't wrong. All, maybe it yeah, wasn't maybe bad. it's not all complete trash. <laughs> just, it's not just all from bad. An aspect of we've been, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just from the idea that we've been doing this for two years, don't watch anymore. <laughs> No. If you find a good one, don't stop. Like, yeah. like I've had I've had a worse time watching trying to watch some of the Marvel movies mm. and yeah. and been like, oh god, like that, and just been like, I got to turn this off, and I couldn't even make it through those. So uh, yeah, I felt I feel rel- relatively positive about it. Mm. I but yeah. I don't I swear I had a better attention span as a kid as well. So like, 100%. I mm. probably would have anymore. I probably would have loved this film. Um, apart from it's like lack. As long as it was past my princess phase, because there's obviously there's not enough princesses Doesn't in this film. Princess. Um, sure, yeah, I did. I, I that is one of the reasons why I didn't give it seven out of yeah. ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> princess ninja mum would have just yeah. mm, like, ten out of That's ten a film. Really good, yeah. Just give it a little bit of Japanese sort of royalty kind of vibes in there somewhere. I think that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm. Sort of like a um, what was that movie where uh, King Ralph, where um, you know John, is it John Goodman? Or was it John Goodman or was it John Candy finds out that he's like uh, in line for the throne? Oh, yeah. You know, you know, and he, and he, he eats, he has to bring, be brought to England or whatever and has to eat 
spotted dick or whatever it was but yeah. that but like a japanese version where you find yeah. out that you're the, <laughs> the japanese emperor one of the kids finds out that they're in line to become the japanese emperor and you're a ninja yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yeah designated survivor kind of just blow up Any, all whatever of the japanese right the version of spotted dick yeah. is you know <laughs> probably um, tastes better yeah, <laughs> yeah it's gonna be better it's probably got flavor so that helps <laughs> sure yeah there's nothing wrong well, with spotted, you know, they're spotted dick it's to just it. like yeah. it's a, such an old pudding no one eats yeah. yeah yeah exactly it's just like bread with raisins in or something <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> but the but the name's got flavor you know? exactly <laughs> yeah the name lives on <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, oh. <laughs> I guess with that, I have been Dan. I have been my... How did we end on Spotted Dick? <laughs> but, uh, know, I'm so sorry. That's my fault. It like a That's... good ending point, you know. Yeah. Uh, I have been Michael. <laughs> and I have been Helena. And I have been Alistair. Uh, where can yeah. people find you, Alistair? <laughs> um, you can find me on the Two in the Think Tank podcast. Um, and, you know, on Twitter and stuff like that at uh, Alistair TB. But uh, you know, mostly I'm around. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. You'll you'll see me Somewhere. around, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. If you're yeah. listening to this, you yeah. probably know who Alistair yeah. is. It's fine. It's yeah, right. it's yeah. Like... <laughs> or you know, if if I ever do anything of any real importance, you'll hear about it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for having me on your wonderful program. Oh, thank you yeah, for thank, thank you for, for, uh, joining, for us. joining us. It's been a, yeah. it's been an absolute delight. Yeah, it's been really nice. Yeah. Well, you can find this podcast on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Hilton Pod. That's at H I L T M Pod. Uh, we're on Discord as well. If you want to come and talk to us about three ninjas, yep. I guess tell us tell us your disgusting British desserts. As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give us a list of <laughs> yeah. Horrible um, desserts. We've also got a Patreon where you can support the show. Uh, yeah. What are we going to be doing for Patreon this week? We're going to start a ninja school. Um, and we're going to teach children how to be ninjas, and importantly, keep teaching them the killing blow. Yeah, because <laughs> cool. I may have a, a very evil person that's after me. <laughs> it's it's in the telly tubbies. <laughs> I need some children to <laughs> defend me. Cool. Well, I mean, this podcast does have a history of having a bunch of children available. So no, we we, we're stopping them. with that now. No, we're not we're kidnapping done. them this time. No, we said we were going to stop the kidnapping. A completely voluntary school. Whenever we do this joke, it somehow most of the time turns into at some point the children get kidnapped. <laughs> it started with the medallion because they yeah. kidnap a child. Actually, they kidnap children in this film too. So yeah, yeah. yeah. it's on form. No, we're trying to stop kids yeah. from getting kidnapped this time. <laughs> well, if they do get kidnapped, they can fight their way out. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's recording. Great. Uh, We're in a good position. One, two. Uh, everyone make testing noises. Test, 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 test. Uh, test. Great. Test. It's all coming Ooh. through. I kicked the table. Yep. That'll do. <laughs> Most of the people we've worked with through podcasts is through Sans Pants. They either are Sans Pants or we know about them because of Sans Pants. <laughs> Have you guys had like a like a, a um, Jackson or a Doucher or something like that on? Yeah, yeah, we've we had both, both of them on. Yeah, we got them both. Uh, nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, quite a while <laughs> ago now. Some weird yeah, Scooby Doo. Oh god, movie. that was that was bad. That was a ninety-minute <laughs> Scooby Doo <laughs> episode. Movie. Yeah, sure. I um, yeah, I just did a podcast episode. a couple of months ago with somebody who was they were watching all of the Scooby Doo short. Well, you know all the Scooby Doo movies. Oh right, and yeah. I think this one was like a e- Egyptian one. Ooh, kind of weird thing. Yeah, like that's that. got room anyway. to be problematic. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the one always, we watched, there's... um, Shaggy inherits a like definitely a Confederate plantation house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, exciting. from his uncle, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. but also Velma um, and the other all the characters except Shaggy and Scooby aren't in it. Wow. It's, yeah. yeah, it was oh, just a Shaggy and Scooby. Movie. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a, a normal episode they extended into a film. So There okay. was 15 most minutes of wow. plot, filler. approximately. Yeah. <laughs> it was mostly yeah, right, film. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, sure. So it's yeah. it's cheaper that way. You don't have to pay the writers. You just have to get everybody to talk slower or yeah. just make <laughs> make every scene last a little bit longer. That, that was it. No, that yeah. was literally it. Everything felt like yeah. it was like a minute too long. And then they didn't even wrap it up. All the 
plot threads that it were there, ended. they kind of yeah. didn't actually yeah. wrap up and the ending didn't make sense compared to what had been set up in the episode. It, that, that film's the reason my husband won't watch films for this podcast with me anymore. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's Unless sad. he's seen it's, it's, it. It's, it's yeah. amazing how difficult it is to get something made whilst it also seems so much garbage gets made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's, anyway. It, so yeah, sp- speaking of making garbage, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. I I would love to be a part of that, please. <laughs> <laughs> can we put that? Can we put that down? Thinks it's garbage, and we'll just use that as a five stars as a garbage. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah best garbage Thank I've you. ever put into my head. Great. 